Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to episode 702, 703 and 704 of One Piece. Um, just wanted to make a quick note about something regarding the regarding opening 17. I don't think I mentioned it to you guys, but I will react to opening 17 um, after I finish the Dress Rosa arc. Um, I just feel like that would be best to react to all the versions of opening 17 after I finish the arc. Otherwise, I just might kind of slow up the pace of the reaction schedule and i don't want to do that <clears throat> anyway um these episodes were just amazing again some really tragic heartbreaking details just oh man every time like the celestial dragons slash the world government do something fucked up i always get so angry and frustrated over it um so firstly, um, it's confirmed, it's, there's proof enough that Doflamingo is in fact a psychopath, not a sociopath, because if he was a sociopath, then it's explained with his backstory as to why he lacks empathy, and it's explained that actually his parents were actually really nice people, including his little brother Karaz, and they were really nice, compassionate, empathising people that his dad actually wanted to um, get rid of his title as the Celestial Dragon, a Celestial Dragon, and because of that, he had to, he, um, he rid himself of god status because the Celestial Dragons are seen as gods, even though they're humans, for fuck's sake. It made, it got me so mad. Like, just, the, the really awful things they did to human beings like when the human beings were like tying up Doflamingo's family all those years ago like that was fucked up in itself obviously but like they were basically scapegoats um, for what the other sh celestial dragons did to the humans <clears throat> so there was a huge misunderstanding here that oh the celestial dragons that means they're part of their side not our side because of like what, what the Celestial Dragons did, like for example, one of them, uh, one of the people that were writing against the Celestial Dragons, he had his eyes gouged out by a Celestial Dragon. That's how fucked up the Celestial Dragons are. They are heartless, evil, sadistic, narcissistic, psycho fucking people. Like, jeez, man, like. It's quite. It's a miracle that um, Don't Flamingo's mom and dad were different to that, because all the other Celestial Dragons that we've seen so far have been very, very cruel towards people of lower status. Um, anyone that's not a Celestial Dragon is treated like a piece of shit. And not just that, they're like slaves and sex slaves. Like, remember what happened with the Boa sisters? Awful, absolutely awful. Um, so yeah, it's just like time and time again, like Celestial Dragons just want them fucking beaten up. I hate them so much for everything they've done that caused so much pain towards so many of these other characters. Um, and there was another shocking thing: Karazin can actually talk. Um, so we heard him talk, and he revealed something that is so damn risky like it takes a lot of guts and bravery to go up against doflamingo your own brother and not just that he's willing to go up against the navy and the government as well um so basically law is dying still in the backstory i mean in the backstory he was dying from the white lead disease um and karazin when he heard that Law's name is actually Trafalgar D. Water Law because he has the D in his name. Karazin told him to get out to escape from Doflamingo as as quickly as he can because Doflamingo will kill him if he found out that he has D in his name. So because he has D in his name, because God Roger and a lot of other people are basically against the gods if they have D in their names. That's why it's such a bad thing, um, I guess, um, from the explanation. Um, so, but Law, he couldn't understand that. Um, so, he just stuck around and then eventually Karazin kidnapped Law, took him away, sailed him away um, for like six months and then Doflamingo called again 
Um, and Novamin was actually suspecting that Corazon was in fact betraying him in some way um, by working with the Navy. <clears throat> so it turns out that um, Corazon was... I mean, he told Law that he's not a Navy soldier, but we saw his name, Don Quixote Rosinant, which is like his other name, Marine style name. Um, so we actually saw a picture of him wearing the Marine uniform. Um, so he was talking to Sen Goku through his Den Den Mushi, and he was like talking about the OP OP fruit trade off. So that, so apparently a bunch of pirates found the OP OP fruit, but they want to make a trade with the Navy because they really want money. So they're going to give the fruit away because they value the money more than the actual fruit's ability. Um, yeah, so Doflamingo's plan is that he thinks the OP OP fruit can actually cure Law's um, disease. Um, but he wanted Corazon to eat the devil fruit. The thing is, Corazon did not tell Doflamingo that he's not actually mute he's not <clears throat> he's actually just a soundproof guy he has the ability to soundproof er anything um so he's been lying to Do Doflamingo for a very long time about a lot of things and I'm amazed at how, at how compassionate he was towards Law because even though Law stabbed him he was willing to help Law to find a cure to his disease this got me so angry. So basically, um, Karazin was taking Law to all these hospitals and every single hospital refused to treat Law's disease just because they thought it was contagious. Again, world government are absolute scumbags and those doctors are absolute scum for not trying to at least try to help Law. Like, they could have just, like, contained him somewhere if they thought that he was so contagious like they were just like panicking so much and i'm just like that is not professional at all for a doctor you know <clears throat> there are so many diseases out there it's your prerogative as a doctor to treat all kinds of diseases even contagious ones like you should know that if it's a contagious one then there should be like a contagious unit or something i don't know i'm not a doctor but like, i'm pretty sure like you put them somewhere away from everyone else like i don't know a cage or something. i don't know but like they could have figured something out you know um and it's just it was so heartbreaking because like law was he just felt so cast aside because of all these scumbag doctors saying like stay away stay away from me and i'm like just like you're a fucking doctor for goodness sake man treat the little boy like it's your job man uh what do you get paid for so yeah i was just so annoyed at that so he was like dying um so Karazin, he was like, what was really cool was seeing how Karazin was using his soundproof ability very effectively to steal the OP OP fruit from the pirates. Um, so he actually managed to do that because there was no noise around to alert the pirates um, of anything happening. So he was able to do that. But then he got caught by some other pirates. Um, so he couldn't actually give it to Law, but I mean we do know that Law does get cured at the end of the day anyway because he's alive in, in current events um, so the fight is continuing the current fight I mean um, yeah just it's just proof that like I mean I always thought Doflamingo was a psychopath and that nothing from his backstory can make me empathize with him but then like when we saw that his dad made the wrong decision to well i wouldn't say it's totally wrong because i'm glad that he wanted to remove his title to live a more normal lifestyle um but he should have at least changed their name that's what i thought the mistake was that he did not change his name it was the fact that he kept his name kept the don quixote name and because you did that, that's why you were so targeted. If 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 the normal people, the citizens around, did not know who they truly were, then they never would have been targeted, I feel. Um, <clears throat> again, it's risky, but 
at least you raise your children in a nice environment if it's like human based and not like where the Celestial Dragons constantly mistreating slaves. Unfortunately, Doflamingo could not be raised in such a way because he was already born in a born without any sort of empathy. So that was a problem with Doflamingo. He's a born psychopath. He's not a sociopath. So, but he did have a lot of resentment over his dad, and it's understandable because he caused a lot of suffering. Um, because a lot of them, a lot of the normal people were like chasing after them constantly and almost got them killed by setting them on fire. So I do understand from Doflamingo's point of view, but still it does not excuse how you treat the lesser people when they're not, even, they're not actually lesser people. Just, oh man. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. What do you think of these episodes? Let me know and stay tuned for more.